Hey drum fam, it's Mark from Attack Drum Heads. Take a look at this. This is a big stack of our snare drum batter heads. I'm going to do my best, non-rehearsed, to run down every snare drum batter head that we have. And um, here we go, wish me luck. I'll start off with the ProFlex one. 10 mil, one ply, coated head, it's a do-all drum head, the ProFlex 1. Sticking with the ProFlex 1. Here is the ProFlex 1 reverse dot. You can see here on the underside, there's a dot right in the center. Now what that's gonna do, it's gonna shorten the sustain and add some durability. ProFlex 1, no overtone. What this has, is a control ring underneath. We call it the no overtone ring. This ring from the collar out to here is about one inch. So this is the ProFlex one, no overtone. And it's very focused, controlled sounding, one ply head. Here's a secret drum head. Not many people know about this one. This is the Tone Ridge one. Our Tone Ridge heads are super popular as a two ply in our Tom Toms, but here it is in a one ply. Look at that ridge, look at that. It's embossed, it's actually raised up. This is the Tone Ridge one. That ridge definitely has something to do with the tonal characteristics and the way it affects uh, the EQ and sustain of the head. Tone Ridge one, give it a try. Here is our best selling snare drum batter head over the last two years, the Baron. Obviously, it's very unique. It's a, it's a love-hate visually. I happen to love it. Um, this is a one-ply. It's, it's in our ProFlex series, but the Baron is a smooth white film. It is not uh, a clear film. It is smooth white. And what's unique about the Baron here, if you look, the control ring or no overtone ring is only a half inch wide. So from this collar out to here, it's only a half inch. So it's half the size. The Baron is for someone that just wants a tiny bit, tiny bit of dampening, just a little bit of dampening. That's the Baron. Not many people know that the Logic Dot is the same drum head as the Baron, except for the dot. Still smooth white, still has that micro control ring in there. Look, only a half inch micro control ring, but it has this elongated dot. And the theory is, as uh, most drummers play their back beats in one portion of the drum head and play their grace notes in another, we actually have a travel pattern. We are moving around on the drum head. So you determine what your travel pattern is and you turn the head prior to tightening it to cover your travel pattern. And then that way, as you're moving back and forth, this dot will always be there. That's the logic dot. Now there's some in-depth videos on attackdrumheads.com that you can dive in deeper. Now we switched into two ply. This is the Thin Skin 2, Thin Skin 2. So most two ply heads are two seven mil pieces of film on top of each other, most. This is an odd combination. It has a five and a seven. So it's a five mil and a seven mil film on top of each other the Thin Skin 2. You gotta give it a try. If you want that durability of a two ply, but more open sounding, it's a very open sounding two ply, Thin Skin 2. Here is the Tone Ridge 2. Now, just like I showed you that Tone Ridge 1 with the embossed section, there it is, two ply, really durable. What a lot of people don't realize is the super popular Eric Singer, the drummer in KISS, he's our, he's our main in Dorsey. He's been with us the longest time, and Eric was a friend of mine before I was one of the owners of Attack. So Eric is a sweetheart and a monster talent, monster talent. But here's Eric's signature, super cool, black hoop. This is the Tone Ridge 2, Eric Singer signature. Sticking with two ply. Now we're getting heavier here. This is the Pro Flex 2. This is two 10 mils on top of each other. Super durable, super durable. 
Oddly enough, prior to creating the ProFlex 2 line, this batter head already existed. This is the blast beat. This is also two mils of 10 on top of each other, the blast beat. Here it is a little heavier, the super blast beat. And the difference here is that the dot is on top, but it's coated all over. This is the super blast beat. That dot obviously is gonna add durability, but it's also going to shorten the sustain of the drum. And then on the polar opposite, here is our practice low volume mesh drum head, Attack Aura, outward reduced audio. Hey, visit attackdrumheads.com, get the details, tell your favorite music store that you wanna see some Attack Drumheads and give them a try. I really appreciate it.